coming from Havana, doesn't it? <laughs> I welcome you all to our summer cigar party. Now in its fifth year, this event has first become a fixture in the calendar of the devoted Havanos smoke. So well done to you. I think I'll end on that note. Being among the first, I'm going to stick to script, you'll be pleased to hear. Being among the first to taste the new release from Cuba and then discuss the blends, the burn and the smoking attributes of the cigar in the company of fellow smoking enthusiasts always makes for a very agreeable evening, as our previous parties, as some of you have witnessed, uh, have demonstrated. And for the number of familiar faces I see here tonight, we must be doing something right for you to keep coming back. So for those of you who are attending the first time, I hope to see you next year. Tonight, I can confidently predict that it is the night of wonder. Two wonders, in fact. The first wonder is the fact that our Florida Carno short robustos are finally here. A year late, or as I like to say, a year extra late. Our 2010 UK Regional Edition should now be firmly wedged between your lips, and I'll be shortly passing you over to Simon Chase, who is a relative newcomer to the industry. <laughs> Which we're giving him a, a trial. And uh, for tonight is, I wonder where my Pardigas Series E number two is. Yeah. Yeah. Where is Ignacio to explore the replacements? The UK regional edition that did arrive on time in 2010, the Paul Leonaga Regalias de Londres. Now for the science, Mr. Chase. Yeah. Hey. Oh, thank you. Not much science coming out of here. Let me tell you about the Florida Carno uh, and how the, the short Robusto, which uh, I was hoping and enjoying, came into being. Uh, Florida Carno is a brand uh, that was born in Havana in 1932 when Juan Peanut Carno Sainz and his wife Consuela decided to hire a cigar roller uh, to make cigars literally on their kitchen table. They built a business into a sound family company and in 1936 registered the brand in Spain, which became one of their largest export markets. In 1939, they were joined by their son Ernesto, um, in, uh, 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 and he became a partner in the business in 1947 when it was renamed J. Car Cano, Carno and Ejil. In the early 1950s, they invested heavily in machines uh, uh, with uh, names of cigars in those days of Predilectos, Preferidos, and Selectos. Now, much of this historical information uh, comes from a website uh, which was set, has been set up by the descendants of Juan and Ernesto, who, um, upset by an apparently fictitious version of their family's history circulating on the internet, decided to put matters to rights. 
it's absolutely charming and uh, it's worth a visit at www.lafflordecano.com. After the uh, Cuban Revolution, the family moved to the United States and Ernesto pursued a successful uh, career in the cigar industry. In Cuba, Floricano's cigars continued in production with the emphasis on machine-made sizes, sizes destined in particular for Spain. It was for a brief period between 1988 and 1992 that Cuba Tobacco, the forerunner of Habana S.A., decided to introduce a small range of handmade Floricano cigars. The range consisted of a Churchill, uh, which was called the Diadema, a Corona Gorda called the Gran Corona, and a Robusto size called, known as the Short Churchill. All these sizes were made at a cigar factory in the Marianao district of Havana, named Heroes del Moncada, the Heroes of Moncada, after one of the first engagements in the Cuban Revolution. Quantities of these sizes, mostly the Diademas and the Short Churchills, appeared in London from 1988 and latterly in Hong Kong up until 1992. There are not many people around today who remember these cigars. Very few were ever shipped, and when they arrived, no one had ever heard of the brand, and if they had, they thought it was machine made. They were sold uh, only in a very few of the top London cigar merchants. Nevertheless, very soon, those who smoked them uh, found them to be delicious. The short Churchill stood out. It was a robusto size, um, and its arrival coincided with uh, the dawn of the robusto revolution. Uh, Cohiba's robusto, the first cigar ever to carry that name, was launched in 1989. Now, those who enjoyed, the, who smoked the short Churchills, enjoyed super cigars, but those who held onto them were in for quite a surprise. At Christie's, uh, at a Christie's auction in December 1999, there were five boxes of 25 short Churchills in the catalog that sold for £2,100 each. This compared with a retail price in 1990 of £130 a box, including VAT. Not a bad return in less than a decade. Four months later, Christie, uh, Christie's again, a box reached £3,600. They were achieving prices that you would expect for Cuban Davidoffs and Dunhills, but not for Flor de Carnival. It didn't stop there because in May 2004, Christie sold another box for £6,600. Uh, we wanted to produce a better quality cigar band um, that was used on the standard range of Floricanos. The, des the design, which you'll see on the cigars you're smoking, is precisely the same as you'll find on the other ones, but the quality of the reproduction, the embossing and so on, is much, much better, thanks to the work of the Freitag Printing, premium printing company in Holland. And also there was some difficulty in matching the green ink, which was a characteristic of the original short churches. Now, the resolution of all these problems, uh, challenges, has meant that patience has been the order of the day for smokers looking forward to their first taste of the short robusta. But as they say, good things are worth waiting for. Whether the short robusto will be met with the same enthusiasm as the short Churchill remains to be seen, as does its potential as a star investment. The, um, well, suffice it to say uh, that only 30,000 of the short robustos have been made, and they are presented in 1,200 numbered boxes. And if their predecessor was anything to go by, they will age well. The uh, Paul Laranaga uh, Regalias de Londres uh, is a cigar that you, almost, you may well have smoked before. However, I am confident that, uh, you'll be happy, that if you have, you will be happy to receive another two, because in my view, it is an exceptional smoke. Thank you for listening, and please enjoy your cigars and the rest of the evening.
for the launch of the Fleur de Cano Short Robustos. Thank you very much to Hunters and Francos and to all our guests who attended the Summer Cigar Party. Hasta luego. Mm -hmm.